Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Dewey's Bingo. This is week number two, and uh, we had so much fun last time. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how much fun we can have this time. So I'm going to repost the link for the bingo card in the chat. So all you need to do is just click on that link, and you can use your phone, your tablet, or your computer. And uh, you can have as many cards in play. Like if you're on your computer, you have multiple um, tabs. Uh, if you're on your tablet, you can probably do the same thing, same way with on the phone. Uh, but you'll, you'll play electronically on those cards. So we'll look forward to seeing how uh, everything goes here. I see we have cruising on the high seas here. Hello, Robert. Glad to see you here. And Bill, Captain Billy, of course, this is his his bingo game because our topic today is famous captains, and we have a guest moderator for for the show now because it was so hard last week for me to watch everything all at one time, and I'm sure you guys will recognize this character. Hello, we got Danny. hello, welcome, Danny. We're glad to have you here. Yes. That I appreciate you offering to help with this because trying to run the bingo game and watch the chat and everything. You, obviously, last week I didn't do that very well. <laughs> no, you're fired. I would say you're fired. <laughs> I almost wore a green shirt today just to see if I would be a floating head on the screen. I think you would be a Martian, though. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'll experiment with that when I'm experimenting with other issues. So, Oh, let's see. We got a few people in here watching. It's hopefully everybody is getting their cards. Let me go take a look at the cards and see uh, what we've got. Cruising's basically saying bingo already. No, it's not time for bingo. <laughs> it is time for bingo, but not ready yet. It, you can't scream bingo for one one number. Okay, let's see. Where's the cards here? View cards. Oh, yeah, we do have some people uh, with cards already. Great. Looks like Marsha's here. Glad to see you, Marsha. So that if I can't see you in person, at least I can see you here to play. Captain Billy's got a card. Rob's got a card. Don't forget to hit the free square, Marsha, because you get that one doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> Of course, none of these cost you anything, but. Oh, yes, Captain Billy. I definitely had to uh, have the bingo marker be appropriate for the game. Darn. Just kidding. We'll give a few more minutes for some other people to get in here. And if nobody does, we'll start with the people we have and see if, because a lot of times people kind of joined later last time. Okay, Dewey. So do you have an age preference for the um, bingo? No. No? Okay. No so, no age preference. I don't. The, so far, I'm not running anything R or X rated on it. Oh, not yet. Mm, and it's not like uh, After Dark, so. Yeah. Right now, I, I have it available for any and all. Just want to make sure because you never know with them. Kids are like, oh, mom, what is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, oh, mom. Yeah. If, if, I, if I do one of those shows, I'll make sure to put an age restriction on it when I start it. <laughs> yeah. Just, just never know. I'm looking through my Facebook right now to see if there's a link in there because I thought I had it set to stream on both uh, the... Uh, YouTube and on Facebook. I should put it on seeing, Let me see if it showed up in my uh, uh, Dewey's. There we go. Dewey's. It's under Dewey's destinations. That's why I didn't see it. I was logged in with another one. Okay, good. Then we have it showing up in Facebook. So hopefully people will see it on Facebook as well. Um, oh, there seems to be quite a delay. All right, I just shared it on my Facebook, Mr. Dewey.
Oh, wait. I'm going to shut down some tabs and see if that helps. Okay, let's see if I show up now. Got to run at supper time P pace. Okay. Well, I saw my mouth move, but I don't hear anything coming out. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, Dewey. Okay, it's just not coming through on my screen, I guess. So That's good. That's Earlier, every, every time I spoke, it took a long time for it to show up on our screen here, so I... I think I had too many things running. How many captains do we have? I think we only have one. We're supposed to have one. Sensation of fun is kind of. Well, trying we'll to... Have, to, have to see how many captains show up in the game. Hello, Captain Sherry. Or Seaman Sherry or whatever the, the title is. I think we, we should just call her Pilot Sherry. Pirate Sherry? No, not Pirate. Pilot. Pilot? Okay. I like a pilot. She look, she look, in that little hat, she looks like a pilot. <laughs> well, don't forget to go in and get your bingo card, Sherry. We want you to be able to play with us. Oh, I think we're going to have a um, little bingo fight because um, the captain uh -huh. and trying to, I think pilot Sherry and captain are trying to get each other. Oh, well, that'll be a never-going fight, I think, for for ages. So. I would say, listen, it's bingo, let's have fun, and enjoy no bickering. Okay, she got a card. So Looks like we have uh, four cards in play here, so I'll go ahead and get started with the game. So uh, um, we can uh, get the first game going, and we'll see how many other people show up. Right now, it's showing we have six people in in uh, the show here, and I've only heard from four. So, hopefully, the others, if they're just watching, are enjoying it. And uh, if you want to play, don't forget to click on the link for your bingo card so you can come play with us. Ah, Scott got one. Great, glad to see he showed. I didn't see him in chat yet, but he just, his card just showed up. So. So we, we will get ready to go this week. Of course, it's all famous captains that are uh, in the uh, game here. So let's bring up the bingo caller here. And it, like last week, it'll have the pictures. But this week, I put the names and a little bit of information as well. So you don't have to try to, to guess who, who they are like we were on the TV shows last week. So we ready to roll here? Make sure everyone says bingo. If someone's got bingo, just oh, yeah. say it. If you, if you have a bingo, you do have to say bingo in the chat so that we know uh, you've got bingo because the software doesn't tell me. Because they, oh, that's another thing we got to decide too is what's, what uh, card we're going to play. So let me show you the list of all the different card styles we have. Okay, we, we have... Uh, these are the ones I have so far, and I can always make up more and add it because these the game doesn't control this. We control it. So since we're playing captains this this time around, I think I'm going to start with the anchor as our pattern. And then whoever wins will be able to choose the uh, pattern that they like for the next game. So we ready to rumble here? Okay, we're going to get going. And thank you, Danny, for being here to help me out because running the game and watching chat and everything all at one time gets to be a handful. Huh? No problem. All righty. So our first, whoops, I got to remember, I can't, can't click on this screen. I got to go to the other screen. <laughs> oh. All righty. Here we go. Okay, our first one is Captain Christopher Columbus. Everybody knows who he was, hopefully. Uh, he, Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer and navigator who's credited with the exploration and European colonization of the Americas. Of course, for people that are real history fans, um, 
that could be in dispute whether or not he discovered America or not, but he's the one that's credited with it. So if you have Christopher Columbus on your card, go ahead and mark that, and we're well on our way here. Okay, our next card will be Captain James T. Kirk of the Star Trek Enterprise. Of course, he was played by William Shatner. And when you think of famous captains, I'm sure he comes to mind for a lot of people. The very next one will be Captain Davy Jones. Of course, Davy Jones is a fictional character in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And he's based on a legendary character of the same name. And he was a, a mortal Scottish pirate back then. But you've often heard of Davy Jones' locker and stuff like that. Well, he was the, the famous Davy Jones of old. But this was the Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean. And that's the one that most of them probably think of when they think of Davy Jones anymore. He looks like an octopus. <laughs> he does. I have to imagine what it was like with all that makeup on there. He was probably glad when his day was over. Okay, then we have Captain Midnight. I'm not sure how many people would remember hearing about him. He was a, a Captain Midnight was an American adventure franchise from the 1940s. He eventually extended into serial films, a television show, and syndicated newspaper strip, and a comic book. So... Comic book people probably would recognize him. Um, I, other than the name, I don't recognize him, so I don't think I ever saw saw the show or anything. But I think Billy Jay is trying to um, Captain Billy Jay saying it looked like I look like Davy Jones. Ah, uh, I think you're a little pale for Davy Jones. Oh, I know. <laughs> but he looks like Davy Jones. <laughs> there you go, Captain Davy Jones, Billy, or Captain Billy Jones. He says, never heard of Captain Midnight. Oh, my goodness. Get yeah, no, most people probably haven't, but I had a fill-in, so we had enough for play bingo with some captains. So, And after we get done, if you know of any captains that don't show up, let me know. And if, they, if, if I don't already have them in there, I can always add them for the next time. Okay, our next one is Captain Mickey. Yeah, my favorite. We got a lot of Disney fans out there. So see Captain Mickey from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse was similar to Steamboat Willie, which this is an odd thing. When I started researching this, I thought Captain Mickey was the same as Steamboat Willie, but it's not because the the captain was different on Steamboat Willie. Mickey was just a seaman on that ship. He didn't become a captain until later when they started the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. But, of course, now with the cruise ships and everything, you see Captain Mickey all the time. I wonder if there's Captain Minnie. There, There is a Captain Minnie. She's not in this list, but when I was researching these, there were pictures with both of them. So, Okay, our next one is Captain Pugwash. Oh, now this that one. looks like Billy. <laughs> <laughs> the Captain Pugwash is a fictional pirate who appears in a series of British children's comic strips, books, and television shows created by John Ryan. Now, this one I never heard of either. The name sounded vaguely familiar, but I, I wouldn't have known him to see him. Okay, our next captain is Captain James Hook. You've all heard of that one. Captain James Hook is Peter Pan's arch enemy. The character is a pirate captain of the big Jolly Ro of the brig Jolly Roger. So if you watched uh, Peter Pan, you know Captain Hook. See how people are doing. Uh, okay, we, got some, we got some partial anchors showing up. Uh -oh. How many people got? We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cards playing. Seven cards playing. All right. But it looks like only four are actually playing. Three of them are, are totally empty. They're, nobody's done anything with them. So. Okay. So our next captain will be... Captain Kate. Now, those since most of us are cruisers here, we all know who uh, Captain Kate is. Hey, Larry, glad you made it. Just make sure to click on the link and get you a card. You can either join this game or join the next ones. But our captain for this one is Captain Kate. 
Captain Kate McHugh is the first female American cruise ship captain currently employed by Celebrity Cruises. And I can't remember which ship she's actually on now. I think she's on back on the either the edge or the beyond, but I can't remember which one I heard. So, so Dewey is the cat the captain or the actual female? No, Kate, Captain Kate is the captain, but the, the cat, um, and I can't remember the cat's name now to save my soul. Oh, Captain or Sherry says that, that she's on the Beyond. I, I thought it was one of those, but I just couldn't remember. Okay, our next captain is Captain Cupcake. The original Captain Crunch. Oh, huh, I got the wrong context on here. Captain Cupcake was the uh, uh, little logo character for Hostess Cupcake. So it looks like I have to go in and correct I was going to say, Dewey, um, that doesn't look like Captain Crunch to me. but Yeah, it looks like I made a boo-boo there. So I should have previewed them all to make sure I got them right. <laughs> so... But that's who Captain Cupcake is. So if you have Captain Cupcake on your uh, uh, card, go ahead and mark it. Like you that. don't hear a Captain Cupcake now. I think he was probably from older days when they did a lot of character representatives of products and stuff. So our next captain is Captain Kangaroo. Most of you, if you may not have seen the show, you probably at least heard the name. So Captain Kangaroo was played by Bob Keeshan. I actually got his autograph one time. Yes, I'm that old. And he was a weekday American children's television series. So I watched him a lot growing up. Hey, do he that, reminds me of you. <laughs> that reminds me of me? Yeah, the red jacket. He reminds me of you. So. Oh, there you go. I wouldn't mind having a jacket like that. <laughs> be like, hello, Plum Traveler. Mm. Hey, our next captain. Is Captain Planet. That's back in my time. You remember Captain Planet? Oh yeah. That was I don't. Time. You I don't know. remember? I, I wasn't I wasn't much into the comic superhero type stuff. So well, he wasn't a comic. He was basically like a TV show in the nineties, I think if I remember. Yeah, they say here he was an um, American animated environmentalist superhero television series. But it was a good other show. than the name, I Nothing sounded familiar to me, so it must not have been one that I watched. No, it was back in the nineties. I was busy working all the time, so uh, yeah, it was back in my time. I always dig it does green hair. <laughs> oh, that was in the nineties. Billy said. Okay, good. Okay, our next captain. Will be Captain Adam. He was the character inspired from for Doctor. Captain Adam was the character inspiration for Doctor Manhattan, who was featured in the miniseries Watchmen. There was another one I didn't recognize. Yeah, I, I didn't recognize that one. That's the sad part. I don't recognize that one. Yep. So so. It was hard to find a whole lot of captains to make a bingo game out of that were very regularly familiar. So. I may see how time goes when I do these in the, in the future. I may continue searching, see if I can find any more. Okay, then we got Captain Sir Francis Drake. He was an explorer, an English explorer and privateer, best known for his circumnavigation of the world between 1577 and 1580. Uh, you've probably heard of Drake's Passage uh, down in around the South America. Because he was he was one of the first ones to do go all the way around the world, and that was the route he went. Then we got Captain Quint. I bet most of you remember who he was. Captain Quint was the protagonist of the film Jaws. He was a professional shark hunter who resided in the fictional summer resort of Amity Amity Island. And does anybody remember what his uh, ship name was? Oh God, it's been. I just watched Oz a couple of months ago. I'm trying to remember his name. Was he a drunken mess? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Orca, wasn't it? I think so. If I remember, I can't remember for sure, but I think that's what it was. Oh, um, Destination Fund says Dewey did a good job finding uh, all these captains. Well, thank you. Google is a big help these days. I don't and see. No, Larry, I did not use that. That. 
AI thing that you searched for because I wanted to find the correct answers. I have to pick on, and he used that to, to conduct his trivia for Port Canaveral the other night, and probably half the answers were questionable as far as their accuracy, and some of them even conflicted with themselves. So I don't think the AI generator was very accurate on that one for him. <laughs> okay, our next captain was Captain um, Jack Sparrow. I remember him. Definitely remember him. He's the fictional character of the Pirates of the Caribbean. He's been in a few different versions of the movie, and he was portrayed by Johnny Depp. Yeah, Billy loves the um, Captain. We have to go on the Disney World ride on that. Uh, that was always one of my favorites when I was young, too. And whenever I go to Disney parks like that, I love to go on Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Trevor said, as long as you didn't use chat GPT. Yes, that was the one I was talking about where it gave him so many problems the other night. So. Mm -mm. Hey, our next captain is Captain Magellan. Of course, he was Ferdinand Magellan was a Portuguese explorer. He led the Spanish expedition to the Asian <coughs> continent via the Pacific Ocean around the South America. And that's where the Straits of Magellan are named for him. So you've got Drake's package, package, <laughs> Drake's passage, and you also have Straits of Magellan. So, were you trying to think dirty with the um, captain? No, Drake? I wasn't. I was behaving myself. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we got a few people that are getting close. To, oh, can uh, um, do, um says um Captain Billy um Dewey? Can you show the um anchor bingo pattern again? It's right up there in the right hand corner. Could be. Let me. I think he's that. opening. Captain, you need to open your eyes. Yep, you'll see it right up here in the right-hand corner. He looks like Captain Morgan. He does. I wonder if Captain, because Captain Morgan was patterned after him, because he does look very similar. Yeah, it does. I'm like, hey, he looks like Captain Morgan. That's the one I drink. Okay, we'll go on to the next captain. I keep forgetting i got to be in the right screen to do that. <laughs> okay, then we got Captain Canuck. Now, Larry may know this one. <laughs> Captain, excuse me, Captain Canuck is the most popular and enduring independent Canadian superhero. Now, I had never heard of him, but uh, I, I want to know if Larry's heard of him. He probably has, and I think plays, and he's mighty. Anyone close? We've got a few people that are showing up close in here. Nothing yet. Let, let me check the pattern here. Okay. And we got, it looks like we're the closest person is about uh, three clicks away. Oh my God. Plump Traver never heard of him before. Never heard of Captain Knook? No. Oh, wow. I figured when I found out that he was a Canadian one, I figured I got to make sure to put this guy in. And I think Rob has gone to dinner, so he's not here, but. He's even younger, so maybe he don't. I don't know how old Captain Canuck is. So I would say he looked like in the seventies. Yeah, probably back in those that day when everything was popular with the Marvel, the animated superheroes and stuff. So, hey, our next one is Captain Crunch. Now, this at least the description's right for him. <laughs> the original Captain Crunch cereal is made of sweetened yellow square-shaped cereal pieces made by combining corn and oats in 1963. And of course, then they came out with multiple flavors over the years. My favorite was always uh, Crunch Berries. Oh, me too. My favorite is Crunch Berries. I actually I get love the Crunch Berries. My whole oh, family man. was a chocolate fan, and I was a red fan. I didn't care if it was strawberry, raspberry, cherry, anything red I liked. So we often bought the Neapolitan ice cream. They don't fight over the little bit of chocolate. And I got the whole strawberry section because nobody else cared for it. Oh, my God. That dog looks like his body's backwards. <laughs> Just saying. It looks like he's like, like his backwards, like turning it around. And then the kid looks like he's cross-eyed. And then the next captain is Captain Marvel. Now, this shows how much I watched animated superhero cartoons. I didn't even know Captain Marvel was a she. Oh, I thought it was a male. 
I thought so too. But according to the research, it said Captain Marvel was a 2019 American superhero film based on Marvel Comics featuring the character Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. Now, maybe the old days uh, in the in the comics and stuff, maybe it was a he, but I wasn't finding much at all about a he version. It was all about the newer she version here. So that was a surprise to me. Pump Traveler says, Canadian TV always used more American TV shows than American um, than um, um, Canadian shows. Wow. Yeah, that's one thing I find funny now, too. A lot of movies in Canada is really popular for filmmaking now. Yeah, because uh, they're people, I think that it's more like American because they can yeah, find it's, it's close more. enough like, like American, but they must be a lot cheaper to film there because a lot of movies that I watch, it seems like when you see the credits, I mean, they look like they're New York City or San Francisco or anything else, you know, but when you read the credits, they're like in Vancouver or or you know montreal vancouver is a big one i think for getting movies especially a lot of detective shows i've watched in the past they always seem to be shot there and that always kind of surprised me yeah our next captain is captain ron oh i remember him remember captain ron Kurt oh, Russell yeah. played him. he was he was the ep eponymous sailor with a quirky personality and a checkered past hired to sail a yacht through the caribbean with a family and do you remember who the father was in that movie? Yeah, Martin Sheen. No. No, no, Martin Sheen. Um, Martin, um, what's his name? Martin. He wasn't long. God, what is his? Short? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Is that, he is funny. I like him. He is very funny. Martin Short is a very good guy when he um, played in that. And I think is, and then Captain Ron was like a, like had that captain's, um, badge and everything on his eye and then he would like he would switch it back and yeah. forth yeah well it was it was and then looks like larry well, larry was a liaison officer for the filming in vancouver boy i bet he could tell us a whole bunch of the movies that were shot there then okay our next captain captain america no sure was, was portrayed that i believe in for halloween this year as well as I think Captain Sherry did as well, didn't she? Yeah, I think Billy was Captain America, and then um, she was Captain America. And I think, but I think she just I, I think he's a man. Captain America is another superhero who appears in American comic books, published by Marvel Comics. So. See, Sherry, he's a man, and I think we shouldn't <laughs> be dead and anything. So, there, yeah, next Captain. Captain Nemo. Now this this is the the version from the the uh, Disney movie Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, but he was the captain of the uh, ship uh, on Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Can you remember what the name of that sub was? Ah, uh, no, but I've never seen. I've never seen the movie. I haven't seen. I remember seeing the old movie. I don't. I haven't seen the newer Disney one, but I can't remember the. I'm looking it up now because even I can't remember the name Nautilus. That's right. That's right. The, the, the guy looks like Kurt Douglas. You know that? Yeah, it does a little bit. This looks like I don't know if that's play, plays Kurt Douglas. I don't know. Hey, Captain Billy got it right. The Nautilus. Very good. Yeah, I just could not remember that name. It's old. More than likely, Billy Googled it. <laughs> well, I, well, he Googled it quicker than I did. Then <laughs> he's fast on that stuff. He'll he'll talk to the phone and he'll he'll cheat. I don't Google it. Whatever. There's a difference between cheating and being creatively helpful. So <laughs> he said he didn't Google it. Ah, Chris had it. Good. Welcome, Marsha. Glad to see you in the chat. And say hi to Chris for me, please. And have you guys give each other a huge hug from me. Okay, our next captain, the Skipper. I think he's the only captain in here that I didn't title as the captain in the top. But the Skipper is the title and nickname of Captain Jonas Grumby, a fictional character from the 1960s situation comedy Gilligan's Island. is played by Alan Hale Jr. 
See, I didn't, when I was a kid and anything, when I watched the Gilligan and Dylan, I always yelled at that captain because he would, um, like, be mean to Gilligan. I mean, I <laughs> yeah, that, that he was. He was always yelling at him. He's like, Skipper! I'm like, I'm like, yeah, they were they were good buddies, but boy, he was he was often quite mean to him, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, he was always mean. I always yelled at the TV. I'm like, stop being uh -huh. mean to Skipper. Okay, well, let's see. What is the next captain here? And our next captain is Captain Buck Rogers. He again, well, he was another science fiction adventure hero, credited with making space exploration trendy in popular media. I'm so there's been many that. versions of Buck Rogers over the years. I think he started back probably in the radio days, and then became television, and he's in comics, and there probably is movies and everything else. So I wouldn't be surprised if they remade that. <laughs> you never know. Okay, let's see. Then we got Captain Cook. The Captain James Cook was a British explorer and naval officer famous for his voyages in the Pacific Ocean and to New Zealand and Australia. So where's Sean when you need him? We got one for you Australia people. So <laughs> if you watch this later, Sean, this captain was for you. Okay, our next captain will be, hey, hey look who's here. Is captain Billy. We got Captain Billy, the famous crossing guard captain of years gone by, is now known as Captain Billy from Billy J Travels. Just God, know that. I, did. I guess he's a famous captain after all. Well, he still has that paper. He said he has that search certificate, but I don't think he has it. Anything. I have not seen it yet. I was a crossing guard. I wasn't a captain, but I was a crossing guard in sixth grade, I think I was. And my post was right, the corner right in front of my house. So that was perfect for me. <laughs> yeah, I did crossing guard as well. And I think so. That was fun to do. But it I was did. real nice to be right there in front of my house because in the winter when it was cold, I could go run in and stay warm until I saw somebody coming. <laughs> yeah, I did that at lunchtime. I had to look after the kindergartners. Okay, our next captain. When I work for Vancouver, they used to be a building, courthouse, mainly. If I stayed, um, Deadpool um, series, TV series, and Flash. Oh. Hmm. Well, our next captain is Captain Caveman. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember this comic character. Didn't watch him much, but I do remember him. And Captain Caveman was the, the title hero of the cartoon series, brought back to life in modern age. And fights crime and injustice. I didn't realize he was back on again in the modern age. Hmm. Well, I guess um, when I saw him was back in the 70s, I think. So maybe that's what they're calling modern age because it looks like this picture was uh, people in the, from the 70s. So That Captain Caveman looks like he's a peanut but with hair on it. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Just that's saying. a very good com comparison. I was going to say good. something else, but I'll, be, um, I'll leave this PG. I'll leave this PG. And anything, but I'll say something. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you can catch my drift, Dewey. On that, I know one. where you were going with that yeah, one. Yeah, I was being PG in this one, but I was being yep, nice. I, I know where you were going. Hey, it looks like Captain Sherry is only one click away from uh, um, being uh, a winner. That's good. We'll see if we can find the right one for. Her. Of course, I, um. I don't have any choice in the selection. It's all random by the software. Okay, our next one is Captain Underpants. <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever heard of this one. Um, I think I've heard the name, but that was about all I could think about it. But when I researched it, the Captain Underpants is a children's graphic novel series, which revolves around two fourth graders and the aptly named superhero from one of the boys' homemade comic books. And when I was researching this, it said that I guess they he was one of the, the main characters in it, and he was patterned after their high school or their not high school, but their their school principal. Now I'd hate to imagine what the principal looked like if he if they made a character looking like this. <laughs> I should have that for Halloween. Hey, there you go. I could be um captain. I have the um underwear. I just gotta get the red <laughs> <laughs> Okay, our next captain is Captain Ahab from Moby Dick. 
Captain Ahab was the mon monomaniacal captain of the whaling ship Pequod in Herman Melville's novel Moby Dick. I've never read that book yet. I read it when I was young, but I don't remember much about it. I would have to read it again to be able to I tell you anything. Well, it was like a big book. If you had to read it to keep on. Oh. Here, next captain, Captain Stubing. And we all know what, what ship he's from. He was the captain of the Terry CV series Love Boat, as well as the global ambassador for Princess Cruises until he died in 2021. Marsha said her great niece was a... Um... Um, underpants for school for Halloween a few years back. Well, good. At least somebody then knows who Captain Underpants is. I wasn't sure how obscure he might be because I, I never could recall having heard of him. I, I, I may have heard the name, but that was about the best I could come up with. So I never heard of him. Okay, so let's see. Our next captain. I gotta keep remembering every time I click off the screen, I gotta get to the right screen to select it. <laughs> okay, we got Captain Black Bart. His real name was Bartholomew Roberts. He was a Welsh pirate, most successful for his captured vessels during the golden age of piracy. And then we got Captain Picard from Star Trek. He was the captain of the Federation Starship, USS Enterprise, in the newer, well, I guess it's not so new now. It's still an old series, but it was newer than the original Star Trek, so. And our next captain is Captain Tony Nelson. He's played by Larry Hagman. He was the U.S. astronaut who found a genie in a bottle on a deserted island in the South Pacific. She was a hoot. <laughs> I love some of the things she came up with, and how she would torment his life. That was a good show. So hopefully most of you got a chance to see that. I seen bits and pieces of it. I watched it a lot when I was younger. That was one of my another one of my favorites. It's like a soap opera, basically. Like and then we got Captain Han Solo. Captain of what's the name of the ship? Millennium Falcon. From Star Wars. Plum Trevor said some parts of Star Trek were filmed in Vin um, Genie um, slot machine. Hmm. Oh, really? Wow. Didn't know that. I dream. I remember playing. In, uh, oh, my goodness. Billy says, I remember playing in um, Dream of the Genie um, slot machine. <laughs> yes, I remember that because that was like um, coins operated. I played with that a couple times. And then it was like, I don't know if it was electronic or like, I know playing with nickels. Yeah, really. Larry, Cap Captain Billy's even closer to a full card, Wait. but he has, he's still missing two, three squares that make up the anchor. And he only I think Tom Travers has got a bingo, but it says almost have a full card, he says. But no, he does. He only has, but Cap or Larry, since you came in late, we're playing them. You got to match the pattern in the right hand corner of the screen. Looks like an anchor. We're not playing straight bingo. No, we're not playing um, blackout. Larry, <laughs> I think he's got like, yeah, we already will play blackout at the end. That was how we ended the week last week, but but I think it's funny how Captain Billy only needs three more for a blackout, and all three of them are part of the anchor. <laughs> and then Plum Travers needs three, so yeah, yep, he's he's actually oh, there's one that he got there that he didn't, it isn't showing. Wait. I think I, I need a blackout to get a bingo. Oh, gee, Billy oh he's just look. Don't, Billy, don't be confusing people because you're going to be um, on all that. So, geez. Okay, we'll get another captain here, see if we can get some of these winning ones. And we got the captain and Tennille. I don't know how many of you remember them. They were a musical recording group from the 70s. And you probably recognize the song, Love Will Keep Us Together. And do that to me one more time and muskrat love. I know muskrat love, but I've never heard of this one. I've never seen that before. Mom. Larry oh. Hook was called, so you can mark that one, though he's not needed for the uh, the game. And Pugwash was called, though he's not needed. And Columbus was called, so you only need one more for a blackout. They must have been on before you, you came in. He's got two to. Oh, hold it. 
He's he's got the he does have a bingo. He has oh, the yeah. It's a, oh got who's gonna scream bingo? We better keep going like yeah. it, got going once, going twice. So Larry can scream bingo in chat. He's the winner. Yeah. Captain Billy says bingo. Where? No, he said bingo. But did you win? Oh okay, yeah. Captain yeah. Billy doesn't doesn't have Ooh. a bingo yet. Hey, Billy, it's not rigged. It is not rigged. He keeps saying rigged every week. He's gonna say break every week, and he because he really wants. Captain Billy was one away, and uh, or two away. Pardon me, Marsha was one away. Okay, Plum Travers is one. It just said bingo. All right, congratulations, yeah. Larry. Way to go, Captain Sherry was one away. Marsha plays like I do. When you're playing a pattern, she doesn't even mark the ones that aren't part of the pattern. I like that. Yeah. Hey, all Tom right, Calvary. congratulations. Yay. Now Larry. you can win a banana cleaner. Okay, let's, let's get the. Uh, uh, I can't even win. He says, okay, I can't. we have a winner. Okay, so Larry, you get the honor of picking what pattern we're going to play for the next game. And while you're looking, oh, excuse me, looking over that, I'm going to go get the game started. I will clear everybody's cards. Okay, so we have clear cards. You can remark your free box. And I need to scramble up the bingo collar part. Larry. <laughs> He says, okay, I a banana cleaner, I can't wait. Small box. Oh my goodness. Okay. What's that banana going on here? Okay, I gotta get a new window open here. So one moment. Okay, the bingo images for Captain. Oh, wait, different channel. Yes, different channel. Larry, okay, scramble them up. Okay, now we should be ready to go. Let me. Good luck, everyone. Got a gnat or something in here. It's driving me nuts. Oh, I know. It's like driving me nuts, too. I have okay, one too. so I'm... we go to full screen for that. Okay, Larry, which uh, pattern did you choose? You got it now. Okay. Oh, it's okay, Larry. You'll be all right. I'll send you a link. <laughs> okay, you so the small box. Where Where is that? I'm still worried. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got to right, put Larry, that up here one? in the corner. All right, Larry. Which one are you going to – did he choose which one he wants? He chose the small box, which is oh, small box. all the ones around the free square. So you got a nine-square box here. So let me go turn off this one, and we'll bring back our bingo collar. Okay, so everybody ready? Good luck. Let's see who we can get to be a winner this time around. Okay, our first one will be... Hey, Captain Stubing shows up as the first one, so our good old love boat captain. There was a lot of people playing on that love boat. Oh, yes. They had a lot of... It was a good series for many people to make cameo roles and guest starring roles. Practically anybody, everybody that was anybody was probably on that show at least one. Yeah, it's like every week you like you see everyone like, oh, my God. And it's like, hey, <laughs> where's where, where did Betty White go and all that? So. <laughs> Here you go. Of course, we got Captain Nemo again. And I'm going to, since I, I'll only read the descriptions of the ones we haven't seen yet. So if I start to go too fast, everybody, be sure to let me know. 
Then we got Captain Kirk. And Buck Rogers. And Captain Kangaroo. Oh, there you are, Dewey again. <laughs> Remember what, what his little partner was? Nothing. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I, he reminds me of Yeehaw. Yeah. Yeah, that was Mr. Green Jeans. Larry likes banana boat lotion. Oh, my goodness. No, no, people. This is a G-rated show, so be careful, Captain Billy. He's laughing. Our next captain was Captain Marvel. Hey, Dewey, did you get the captain of Pippi Longstock at his papa? The captain? Pippi, remember okay. Pippi Longstock? It, remember him? Nope. You don't remember Pippi Longstock it with the red hair with the... I remember Pippi Longstockings, but not well but, enough. Um, her dad was captain. a captain. Her dad was a captain. I, I got to find out what his name is on captain, but he was a captain. Of his yeah, he didn't show up when I was doing searches of popular captains. Well, we have to put him in there because that was my favorite movie and everything as a captain. Mm. So, Well, I'll have to do some search and see. what, what We'll call him Captain. We'll call him Captain Pippi. We'll call him Captain Pippi. I think it was the next captain. captain is Captain Black Bart. Screen lotion is family rated, guys. Take it easy. <laughs> I showed up and searched for popular captains. Oh my goodness. Okay, got to get my screen back here. And where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Okay. Back over here to. There we go. Okay, our next captain is Captain oh. Mickey. Oh, I'm okay. He's my favorite. Then we have Captain Picard is back. Then we got the skipper. Captain Sherry, you can get a new card. It's the same link. What, Danny? I'm not your favorite. No, you're not my favorite, Captain. That one's got ears. I'm a sucker for ears. Here's the link if you need it, Captain Sherry. And our next captain will be Captain Ron. Captain Ron. Yeah. And the next captain up, the Captain in Tennille. That was kind of a draw, but at least he was called captain, so. Per Google, John Shalek. Oh, it's Captain Shalek uh, as Ephraim and Lundstocking, Poppy, um, um, Poppy's widow, father, and captain of the ship of Hood. Um, I would have ne never known that. I'll Thanks, Lamb. Thanks, Marsha. Now we got to put him in there next time. Do some research on that one. He was my favorite. All my Pippi Lundstock was my favorite. He was my favorite oh. captain. I think besides Mickey, but but he was my favorite because he was cool. Yeah, Larry, the, some of these were quite a draw just to find famous captains to be able to fill up the selection. So, oh, there's the Captain Underpants. Underpants is back. And don't forget, anybody, any ideas you have for topics on bingo cards, let me know and I'll work on them. I've got a bunch already, but uh, if you have any topics you'd like to see, whether they just be the names or pictures or if you like old-fashioned bingo with the numbers, and we can do that too. So, What is next week's 
Bingo. Uh, right now, I'm tentatively planned to do beers. Beers. Mm. Yes. So macho. <laughs> you should do beers and drinks with it and anything like that. Yeah, there's so many beers. I can get plenty of beers in there. So. Oh, yeah. Like Australian so I, beers. I started the work on that one, and I've got a lot of other topics on my list. So. I know it's out. Oh my goodness! Hey, Punch there's the Captain Morgan. Morgan. There you go. Talked there about in the last one. Captain Morgan was actually a spice. The name of the spiced rum. Kind of looks like Dewey. Dewey. Um, Plum Trevor says you look like Captain Underpants. I look. Oh my God! Thanks a lot, Larry. Maybe 180 pounds ago, but I'd hope I look better than that now. That was mean, Larry. That was really, really mean. Yes, Captain Billy, there will definitely be Fosters in the beer list. And he says better than, he's a Bud Light line. Like, but, um, he said kind of, um, the better be, um, oh, he said you better have um, um, like um, Bud Light line. Um, I will remember that. I will remind you, too. 80 song bingo one of these weeks. I do have planned, there's a, and this is kind of what started all of this in the first place. I was just surfing and I ran across a musical bingo where you, they play the song and you choose the title and you're on your bingo card. So I'm, I'm going to do something like that in, in time as well. That'll take a little more time to put together and uh, make sure, but we can do it by decades or we can just do it in topics. I mean, a lot of different things. So um, that, that one will be coming as well. Um, so Plum Traveler is trying to remind you, he used to, he stayed in the same cabin as you. And I behaved myself. You did, but you were probably in your underwear, and he's probably saw um, um, whitey tidy underwear. And, uh, but I didn't underwear. have a red cape on. <laughs> you didn't have a red cape on. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, maybe he was. He took your red cape, and he probably ended up doing something with it. They call it bingo, bingo. But the musical There's, bingo is bingo, bingo. Yeah, they call it bingo, bingo. Um, okay. The, oh, singo. Oh, singo. Singo. Oh. Bingo. Okay. Well, that, we may have some fun with that. So, okay, our next captain is Captain Ahab from Moby Dick. Poor Moby Dick. He died. Lord, killing him. Is there a music bingo? A mix of trivia and bingo? Oh, they want to know. Are you going to do trivia? Well, in a way, it is because you—it's kind of like name that tune where you play the song and you got to match the song to your on your bingo card. So, I'll have to be careful of how I pick things, so that uh, so they're not as obscure of songs like the movie or the TV classics were, so people will be able to identify them. And welcome, Trisha. I didn't mean to to ignore you. I'm glad to see you popped in. Do you have a card playing? Um, all you need to do is click on the link and you can play as many cards as you have devices or tabs on your browser to play with. So, You know, I'm surprised I'm not playing bingo, but I can't because of I get probably get rigged and I'm almost like, oh, it's Danny one. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually not playing bingo. Last week I was cussing up a storm. Oh, Dewey, did you um, knock out? Did I knock? Oops, I did. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, oh there it's back. Okay, good. It's back. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong link again. So oh. you gotta work on that, Mister. Yep. I don't. I was just checking it out. He was just she was checking it out. Well, welcome, and hopefully you'll you'll in, enjoy it and uh, uh, play along with us sometime. We so far we're doing this every Wednesday at five p.m., but we may we can pick different days, different times. We could do it multiple times a week, depending on popularity of it. So we're, we're, this is only our second show, so we're very flexible. Our next captain is Captain Drake from Drake's Passage around the South America. See, it's kind of an educational process, too. And then we got Captain Davy Jones. We haven't had too many new ones show up on this one that weren't in the last one. That octopus scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> then we got Captain Canuck, the good old Canadian superhero. Then Captain Magellan is back. And Captain Pugwash. Oh, there's Billy again. <laughs> of... 
Let's see how the cards are coming along. Oh, okay, we got a few people coming along nicely here. I see Trish got herself a card. Good luck, Trish. Uh, of course, unless you're playing on a big screen, you probably can't see these, but these are all the ones that have been called so far. Let me get this in a bigger screen so I can see it. I can go through them real quickly. Okay, we got Captain Steubing, Captain Nemo, Captain Kirk, Captain Buck Rogers, Captain Kangaroo, Captain Marvel, Captain Black Bart, and Captain Mickey, Captain Picard, and the Skipper, Captain Ron, Captain and Tennille, Captain Underpants, Captain Morgan, Captain Ahab, Captain Drake, Captain Davy Jones, Captain Canuck, and Captain Pugwash. Oh, there's Billy. I know that was a quick run through, but hopefully that, that helped you out with some of your uh, squares. Okay, the next captain. Click on the correct box here, dummy. <laughs> okay, we got Captain Crunch. Oh. Captain Billy's favorite Siri. cereal. Siri. <laughs> oh, Dewey. And then we got Captain Han Solo and Chewbacca. Then Captain Midnight is back. Captain Caveman. See, that shows how small this list is because uh, so many of these are all showing up again without many new ones. There was, I guess there's not a whole lot of new ones left. Oh, my goodness. Pub Trailer says, I'm close, guys. Oh, he's getting close. Okay, let's see. Uh, yep, he's down. No, he's got one more to go. My goodness, he's going to win it again. Well, if he wins it again, I'm like, listen, we are. <laughs> take a dive, Larry. Let me take a look, see which one he needs. Nice, Billy. Really. Try to make sure he doesn't get. I mean, <laughs> oh, okay. I see what he needs. So, okay, let's get back here to the calling. <laughs> Captain Cook. And Captain Kate. I have come so close to meeting her. When she was on the beyond, I was scheduled on the beyond, or not the beyond, on the edge. She was on the edge, and I was scheduled on that trip for Thanksgiving. The week before Thanksgiving, she moved to the beyond. Next year, we got on the beyond for Thanksgiving. The week before, she moved to another ship. I can't remember which one, but she keeps, she must know I'm coming and is avoiding me. Yeah. Okay, our next captain is the Captain Cupcake. I kept in contact with other people. Yeah, the whole the host of ding dongs. And we got Captain Quint. And we got Captain America. Oh, there's Billy, but not Sherry. Captain Planet. I think someone's going to scream bingo here in a minute. I feel like. And we got oh, Captain Billy's got one to go. Okay. We got Captain Christopher Columbus here. Let me see which one Billy needs. Oh, I think he's got it. Yay, Billy won! Yes, I heard that bingo. <laughs> Yay! Yay for Captain Billy. Way to go. Congratulations, Captain Billy. Wow. Destination fun. Destination says, wow. <laughs> Congratulations, okay. Captain Billy. It's not rigged. It's he's like he's not rigged. It's not rigged. <laughs> now it's not rigged. <laughs> now it's not rigged because you basically because we because got the win bingo. Now. 
Okay, so let me scramble up the cards for the collar. Get that one ready. Okay, and then we go in here and and clear out the cards from everybody. And mix them up again for everybody. So, okay, so now we get some fresh cards. Go ahead and mark your free squares. Good luck, everyone. And turn off that. And now I got to get find the uh, bingo caller again. All right, Sherry. No, he not cheated. He didn't. <laughs> yep, he doesn't have that kind of pull with me. Whoops! Hold on a second. I gotta gotta go to the right place here and make it full screen before I bring it up. There we go. Excuse me. Okay, what did I do wrong here? All right, Billy, which one do you want to play? I can't find my StreamYard screen. Where does it go? <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, now I see what's wrong. Okay. Now I see what's wrong. My, uh, my uh, bingo caller screen is in the same browser that uh, my StreamYard is, so I got to separate them so I can open up both of them. He oh, wants to vote. Of course now, we, now we should be good. Let me go in and find... Still learning, everybody. Sorry about the, the roughness here. Billy uh, chose the vote, um, Dewey. You what? He chose the vote. He chose... Oh, oh, that's right. Thank you, Billy. I forgot about that. Okay, so we'll go in here and change it to the boat. Ta-da! Very good, Billy. Thanks for staying on top of that. And, uh, okay, so now we go. Are you calling me Billy? Okay, we'll be that way. That's all right. Well, I, I meant because Billy chose the boat, so. Yeah, you called me Billy, though. Did I? <laughs> oh, sorry. Do we, do we have to take you to put you into a captain's home? You're going to put me into, into a captain's home, huh? As long yeah. as I got an oceanfront view, you can put me anywhere. All right. And then... Wait a minute. What did it say? Plump travelers, it better come with banana boat lotion. Oh my goodness. Whoops, that's the wrong window. That's Cuck. just the words. I gotta go find the one with the pictures. Okay, what am I doing here? Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. In the meantime, while Dewey's doing that, how is everyone's doing a night going so far? Okay, now I should have the right one. So let's bring that one up. You'll see, I have two different cards. I have the one you guys play with the names on it, and then I have a whole nother set with the pictures. So that's why there's confusion. Okay, so there we go. Now we should be ready to go. Okay. The first... Miss Peachy, still afternoon here. <laughs> now I'm having problems with my screen responding here. Come on now. Okay, now we're ready to go. Okay, okay we got Captain Davy Jones for our first one. And then Captain Morgan. Let's all have a toast with Captain Morgan. And the captain. And Daniel, things are working pretty slow here. I must have too many things open. Let me see if I can slow things down a bit.
and Captain Jack Sparrow. And Captain Cook. And Captain Kate. And Captain Adam. That was the one I think Larry needed last game to be a winner. <coughs> And we have Captain Caveman. And Captain Ahab. Um, let's see and Captain here. Billy shows up in this game. Screen froze. Okay. He didn't, Repeat. didn't win okay. the one that um, he showed up in. <laughs> Dewey, we had you had a repeat for a second. I think yeah. you're fine now. Screen froze. La lagging. Okay. My how far, how far, when was the last one you remember, Larry? Um, so there might be lag. You were lagging and missed a couple, so you might have to go back. Why don't you it's like the start the first one again just to make sure everyone just to make sure okay we'll go gets, back at the beginning and just to make sure everyone sees that okay okay the first one was Captain Davy ah, Jones and then the next one okay come on now hit the right screen here dummy. Captain Morgan. Then we got the Captain and Tennille. See, this was why I was trying to set it up when we before the show where I had the bingo caller on another device so I wouldn't keep clicking on the wrong screen. I know. I'm going to tell him. Okay, we can't see the bingo caller. I can't see the bingo caller. He said. Can't see the bingo caller? Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. We're back. Hey, do I need to go back for anybody or go forward from here? Okay, we got Captain Drake. Then Captain Jack Sparrow. And Captain Cook. Captain Kate. Captain Adam. Captain Caveman. Captain Ahab, and Captain Billy, of course. Canuck. Canuck. Captain Steubing is the next one. I don't think Captain Canuck's been called in this one yet. Nope. Not yet. Nope, it's too early yet. We have, he hasn't come up in this one yet. Okay, and then we got Captain Buck Rogers. And Captain Ron. Okay, um, Plum Shower said it started to connect and at my end, on my end, then the screen froze. Okay, that's what Plum Shower said to him for him. Is it freezing for anybody else, or is it his connection? I think it was his connection. In my, because you're fine. We he's haven't fine. had Captain Canuck yet, so it's not. No, not yet. If he's frozen on Captain Canuck, he's frozen from the last game. Yeah, you're frozen on the Punch Traveler. You're froze. You refresh your browser. Good here, no Canuck on this game. Okay, so basically, he needs to refresh his um, pump tower. Uh, Marshall Canuck was uh, uh, the 
There's yeah, no Captain Canuck. Canuck was in the last game. He hasn't been called on this game yet. No, I, I will never come up. One of, um, one of the words only do we um, restart. Okay. After this one, we'll go to the words only one. So maybe it won't be so intensive on the graphics and stuff. Then we got Captain Mickey. That's oh, Captain Pugwash. Oh, well, there's Billy again. Pugwash. <laughs> I'm coming to call him that now one Pugwash instead of his nickname. Captain Christopher Columbus. He says no. <laughs> and Captain Quint. He says hogwash. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> Captain Kirk and Captain Tony Nelson for my dream of genie. There's Captain Canuck. And Captain Picard. And there's Captain Underpants. Oh, there you are, Dewey. Like I was just gonna say, watch it or I'll put you in timeout. <laughs> yeah, it's like Larry, but he'll put you in timeout. I could say something. That's all my and Captain Kangaroo. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and Captain Marvel. Captain Dewey. <laughs> oh, he's trying to say hey, there you go. We need a Captain Dewey. Or you, you just insinuating it should rename Captain Underpants. We got Captain Planet. And Captain Han Solo. Let's see how people are coming along. Oh, we got quite a few here. They're getting close. Okay, and we got the skipper. I think maybe next week what I'll do is I'll put, put the caller and information up on the other screen so I'm not toggling so much. Maybe that'll keep me from making mistakes. There you go. And then we got Captain Black Bart. Then we got Captain Crunch. That sounds good, you know, Captain Crunch, but the bear. I haven't had home. that in years, but yeah, I, I could, I could deal with that. I'm gonna get some berry crunch berries. That's it. I'm gonna have to tell Billy put them in the grocery list. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Count Chocolate series and the Boo Berry and the, what was the strawberry oh. one? Frankenberry. Yeah. Yep, I liked all of those too. We got Captain Nemo here. Captain Magellan. Bingo. Plump terrible. Just one bingo. Okay. Let's go take a look here. And see. All right. All right. Larry, you're on the roll. Oh, Billy, be nice. Yep, he's got a bingo. Way to go, Larry. Way to go. He said it's rigged again. <laughs> you won last yeah, time. If he's not the winner, then they're rigged, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if you're not winning. All right. Let's pop up the bingo winner here. Yay. Which job are you using today, this, this time around, Dewey? The captain's hat. Oh, you should have done Captain Billy's face for the dopper. <laughs> well, if I could find enough facts about Captain Billy, maybe I could just make a whole bingo game about him. Larry, you're supposed to let me win. Oh, no, man, let you win. <laughs> well, Larry's won, what, twice now? Yep, he's won twice. And Billy won once. So, Larry, you get to choose uh, uh, which... Uh, you want to play another game or the coverall will always be the last one. So 
Uh, if you want to play another game, pick a card. Otherwise, we'll do a coverall. Like I always say, winner like a chicken dinner. <laughs> Okay, Larry, which which game do you want to play? Oh, I got to put it up. That would help. Sorry. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. Now you got a choice of, uh, like I say, if we play coverall, that'll be the last game of the evening. Otherwise, you'd pick another shape and we'll play that one. If you select normal, then uh, even though Larry's it's only showing across, that yeah. would be any across, up or down, or diagonal. Um, Larry chose let's go X, he says. X, okay. Uh, we'll do the X. All righty. Let me go ahead and pop that up on the screen. All righty. We got that up there now. We'll go turn off the selector. And uh, let me go scramble up my cards. Okay. Everybody should have new cards now. And this one will be just the words. So uh, hopefully it'll go a little smoother. Okie dokie. So I can close that old one. We don't need that. And... Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I shut down the, uh, the whole show. I thought I closed the wrong window. Whew, that was close. I didn't hear anything and I didn't see the screen up. I was like, oh no. Okay, boom. There we go. Now we got the screen up. All righty. Uh, get that back in place. Get the caller screen up here for me. I tried to put my other screen up, but it's not. I think I got to restart the computer to make that happen because it's not showing up yet. Okay, so we got Captain Adam here for the first one. Damn it! I did it again. Uh, I have screen. five buttons. Mouse sometimes shut window by mistake. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's on the other screen, so I don't make so many boo-boos here. Let me see here. Okay, great. Now I'm not on the same screen here. Maybe I won't make so many boo-boos. Huh? Okay, so our next next captain will be Captain Picard. And the next one after that is Captain Crunch. Followed by Captain Cupcake. That just seems like such a cute little name. <laughs> Are you in your living room, Dewey, with your big screen? Yep. Yep, but I'm just I'm trying to get. Uh, I could go for a cupcake here. right now. That's what um, Billy says that I could go for a cupcake right now. That sounds good too. A cupcake.
Okay, our next captain is Captain Jack Sparrow. There we go, up on the big screen now. I have it set up where I can see everybody's cards and the caller window, so maybe that'll help make things go a little better. Okay, because that's what was messing me up every time I click back and forth. So. Okay, our next captain is Captain Magellan. And Captain Billy. There you go, Captain Billy. Hogwash. I'm saying. I think. <laughs> we, should call him, we should call him Captain. We've got Captain Caveman. No cupcakes. <laughs> Caveman. And Captain Ahab. <laughs> My cough is starting up again. And then we have the Captain Antoniel. And Captain Midnight. And Captain Cook. And Captain Han Solo. Oh, I got that type roll wrong too. It says so leap. <laughs> and Captain Morgan. And Captain Black Park. And the skipper from Gilpin's Island. And Pugwash. Chat GPT is spelled wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. G chat GPT GPT spelling wrong. <laughs> That's like Plum Driver just said. Yeah, that was just Dewey's typing. Is is all that one was? Yeah, the one with Con Solo. <laughs> And our next captain, Captain Columbus. And then we got Captain Mickey. All right, my favorite. Billy says, I still need four. Oh, Plum Chowder is getting close again. Yeah, it looks like he's down to two. Is he going to win it again? Captain Sherry's down to two. Oh, looks like Marsha's back. Glad to see you back. We got Captain Kate. And Davy Jones. And Captain Kirk. Captain Marvel. Captain Hook. Come on, Captain Dewey. <laughs> Captain America. 
I think um, Pump Trawler is trying to win again. <laughs> He's like, come on, Captain Dewey. Captain Nemo. Captain Dewey, does that mean he needs Captain Underpants as a winner? <laughs> mm -hmm. Captain Quint? Last, lost my card. Ugh. Uh-oh. Aw. Oh. Sorry, Marshall. Captain Tony Nelson. Yes. Let's go back to the beginning here real quickly so we can help Marsha catch up here. First one was Captain Adam. Captain Picard. Billy's got one more Hunt, to go. Captain Cupcake. Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Magellan. Captain Billy. Captain Caveman, Captain Ahab, Captain Antoniel, Captain Midnight, Captain Cook, Captain Han Solo, Captain Morgan, Black Mark, Skipper, Hogwarts, Captain Steubing, Captain Columbus, Captain Mickey, Captain Kate, Davy Jones, Captain Kirk, Captain Marvel, Captain Hook, Captain America, Captain Nemo, Captain Quint, and Captain Tony Nelson. Billy's got one more to go, and Larry's got two. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, we got Captain Butt. Now, this is one I had never heard of. But uh, let me see if I can find that picture here. Pump driver's got one to go. I hope if I type right. Okay, Captain Butt. Maybe that was one I was supposed to remove because I can't find any information on it. It showed up on a list somewhere, but I don't, don't when I do a search for it, I get nothing. So go ahead and park Captain Butt if you have Captain Butt, since we're not playing with the image one. Yep. Okay. So Billy needs Drake, and then Plum Traveler needs Captain Dewey. All righty. Well, let's see what comes up. Well, we got Captain Canuck. And Buck Rogers. Oh, and Captain Drake. Drake. And I think Hello. Billy just won. <laughs> Run bingo. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely hear him when he yells bingo. So. All righty, we got a winner. Winner chicken delivers. Congratulations, Captain Billy. So we've got two Larrys and two Billys. Who's going to win the blackout, I wonder? Well, next game up will be the, the, the blackout. So we'll get ready to play that. Let me go ahead and here and clear out the, the old cards and re-scramble them. Good luck, everyone, on your blackout. All righty. Since everyone's doing that, getting ready for that, I can actually um take a, go to the bathroom while everyone's getting ready for that. For blackout. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we will be here. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>
Excuse me. Okay, so we got to change the from the X to the blackout and bring up the caller. All righty, ready to go, y'all. Okay, our first one will be, don't forget to mark your free squares. And we've got Captain Picard. And we have Captain Morgan. And Captain Kangaroo. And Captain Drake. Captain Black Bart. I'll just drop the captains and just say the names that are showing up. It's starting to sound so redundant. <laughs> we have Nemo. And America. <laughs> and Tennille. Cook. And Hook. <laughs> Sounds like a strange pair. Cook and Hook. And then we have Blackbeard. Make sure you say Captain Billy. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see if he shows up. And Ahab. And Caveman. And Ron. And Marvel. And Magellan. And Buck Rogers. And Captain Dewey, I mean underpants. <laughs> and Quint. And the Skipper. And Stubing, Love Boat, and Crunch, and Davy Jones, Tony Nelson, and Captain Kate. And Cupcake. And Mickey. Getting close, Captain Billy. Oh my goodness. Plump Traveler is like, is like I'm getting close. Uh -huh. yeah. To call bingo or something else? Uh, I don't know. Jack Sparrow. And Han Solo, Captain Kirk, Canuck, there you go, Larry, and Pugwash. Oh, there's Billy Jean again. Pugwash, Doc. I would say Pugwash. And Columbus, good old Chris. And Adam. And Planet. Yeah. 
and midnight. And Butt. We don't know who Captain Butt was, but it showed up in a list. I'll have to edit this list. Oh, Billy just won bingo. Billy got a bingo. Oh, Tomorrow, my Billy God. won bingo. He won the bingo. I blackout. like that. Got a bingo, and we didn't run across his name once. I know. I thought when I was hearing him in the background, I'm like, oh, there's two, bang there's two bingos. Wait, who? Wait, there's a tie. Oh, and Captain Sherry got a bingo? Yep, Captain Sherry's got a bingo, too. Congratulations. Congratulations to our winners. Congratulations, Captain, and then congratulations, Pilot Sherry. So we've got two Larrys, three Billys, and a Sherry. So I guess that makes Captain Billy the winner of the night. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that. That was That was a lot of fun. And I sure hope that uh, oh we can goodness. continue doing this for a long time. I'm enjoying it. I'll read you off the list of some of the bingo games that I have that are appropriate for this because I've got a whole bunch that I because I've made a lot that oh. I. Dewey, yeah. um, Marsha says, um, Chris says to add Captain Jane um, Way in Star Trek Captain. Oh, okay. So. Let me you got to remove the butt <laughs> in Jane Way. Okay. And then what would do you remember what the captain's name was from Pippi Longstockings? Oh, uh, we go back. Let's see here. Let me go back. Give me one sec. I think it's Tanag. Can you do it? Let me go back. Uh, give me one. Um. Um, it is John, John Selleck uh, as FMN, F, um, Furman or somebody, Furman. Spell it because your pronunciation isn't yeah. helping me. Yeah. Um, capital E, F, A, I, M, then Lost Donkey. Okay. I'll do some research, see what I can find. Cause it, that doesn't I'll find him a picture and I'll send it to you. Because I know who he is. He's in like description that. information too and proper spelling. So. Yep. Um, I'll um, do that to you right now. No, don't, you don't need to hurry because it's not going to be the next game. I know, but I'll send It'll you It'll be a while until we redo this one. I'll, um, I'll, yeah, that's fine. I'll put in my notes for you. Okay. So these are some of the bingo games. Some of them I've got lists already. Some of them are just the ideas. One was a game show bingo where we have various game shows. And, of course, got to have the Golden Girls in there. There's plenty of facts with Golden Girls. And I think this was suggested by you last week, the Hunks and Babes. Oh, yeah, Hunks and Babes. And then we got Classic Cars Bingo. And Beer Bingo, which I plan on for next week. And then there's just, you know, good old regular bingo with the numbers. Uh, we have a sex bingo already created for the, the appropriate crowds. This wouldn't be appropriate for uh, this one. Um, let's see, these are all different shows. Oh, one of them is Christmas decorations, so that would be appropriate at the right time of year. And... Uh, Yeah, all the rest of them are just specific ones that are only meant something to me because they're shows I watch that I play bingo along with. To kind of, I kind of use the bingo as like a drinking game when it's a show I watch a lot. I'll uh, come up with terms in there so I play bingo with it. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, candy one that would be good. Yeah, we could come up with some good ones on that. And gems and stuff. Ooh, there you go. I don't know how come I didn't think of that one. That's a good idea. Oh, and toys? Yeah, Larry, what kind of toys? <laughs> now, now. Talking about children's toys, of course. <laughs> okay, well, good. I got some good ideas to be working on here. So, <laughs> is this time slot a good one for everybody? Would you like to try a different day, a different time, uh, more days? Or 
Let me know what you're thinking. Otherwise, we'll we'll schedule for next Wednesday at same time for now. Yeah, Sherry, I do have one I'm working on for with classic cars in it. So good for me, Trump flowers. Okay, well, it seems to be working for everybody. So uh, we'll uh, schedule it again for next Wednesday at five Eastern time again. And we'll look forward to seeing y'all back and uh, help spread the word so we get some more people here. I think it, it, it's it's fun for everybody. Um, and now that I learned I can put things up on this other screen, that makes things a little bit easier so I don't make so many boo-boos. Huh? Okay. Well, I guess, and thank you, Danny, for helping me out. No on this. problem. As you can see, I make a mess of things, too, too many clicks, and then trying to keep track of the uh, chat as well is not always so easy. So, oh, yeah. there's another good one from Sherry, YouTube channels. I'll be here next week, and then after that, I will be in the, under surgery in, like, the couple weeks and everything so i'll be here next week and then the following week i'll probably be resting and anything because it's the spleen and everything, so. well, hopefully everything will go well for you yes thank you and everything um You're thanks for hosting that's what my pleasure and thank you for co-hosting and being my bingo watcher for me no problem now i gotta play one of these days and then i want to beat you all <laughs> pray for dan oh thanks larry Got another week to go and anything, and then I can get rid of this. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, you guys have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you all on Facebook and in Marco Polo and on your YouTube channels and uh, anywhere else. I know uh, see, today's Wednesday, so tonight is, uh, I think, D&G have a live tonight. I'm interested to see because their teaser on their show said something about um, – uh, the uh, amazing race. So I don't know if they're planning on going on it or if they're just talking about it or what the deal is. So that could maybe, be interesting. Yeah, maybe they'll talk about your bingo. Thing. Yeah, well, I don't know. They haven't been here to play it. So yes, they need to come. I'll just have to go on there and drop drop a little hint about the bingo. Wait, <laughs> oh, and Pump Driver says, wait, you guys still on, still on Marco Polo? Oh yes, yes, we're still on Marco Polo. Stay safe, everyone, this week. You all have a wonderful evening, and we'll talk to you again next week, if not sooner. Bye, y'all.